first pitch. 16 year old Landis Sims throwing out the first pitch. Amazing. Born in 2005, he was born limb deficient, missing hands and lower legs. And before the game, honored out there throughout the first pitch to Clark. He's the focus of a new documentary, Landis Just Watch Me. And they'll go up against Adrian Sampson. Adrian with a fastball that averages 92 miles per hour. He'll throw it a lot 65% of the time, about half two seamers, half four seamers. Slider change up occasionally a cutter. Just underway, no score first inning. The batter, Jonathan India. India swings and misses. He got fooled on a good off speed pitch by Sampson. That is his first strikeout. Two up, two down, and Kyle Farmer, shortstop to begin, chops that one to third. Wisdom handles, and a nice easy inning for Adrian Sampson. Reds go one, two, three. The Cubs will come up to it in the bottom of the first. No score here at Wrigley. Reds rookie Graham Ashcraft gets the nod today. I think that whenever one of these young pitchers takes the mound, it's very important to remind yourself that you know, these guys are making their way through the major leagues for the very first time. 24 year olds old. Ashcraft has really not had all that much you know, starting experience uh, at the upper levels in the minor leagues. Chop to first. Backhanded by Solano. Ashcraft on the cover. A 10 pitch inning with three ground outs for Graham Ashcraft. Grayley hits in six of his last eight, 290 in that time. Ten of his 11 homers have come since his return in late July. Grayley launches in the air, right field. Suzuki bending back on the track, swivels the hips and watches it fly. Home run, Jake Grayley, and the Reds have a 1 0 lead in the second. Home run number 12 for Fraley. That is in fewer than 200 at bat. So he's been very efficient with the long ball here. 3 2 on the way. Outside corner, ring him up. Steer is gone. Third strikeout for Adrian Sampson, two away. The batter is Mike Ciani. Popped up. And Sampson is closest to it. Here comes Higgins. And. P.J. pulls it down. Base hit in half. A knock against the Reds. Shocker. Here's Fran Mill Reyes, the designated hitter. Reyes drives one in the air, left field. Back goes Friedel. That ball's over his head, off the wall, and it sticks in the vines. A ground rule double for Fran Mill Reyes. Here is Nico Horner stepping in. That one ripped towards a left field corner, and then a touchdown to bang up against the wall. Hap is in, Reyes on his heels, Nico into second, RBI double by Horner, and the Cubs have the lead, it's 2-1. Chris Morrell steps in. Horner at third. And the 2-2, line down the right field line, that's a base hit. It's going to go down near the corner, Morrell racing around first on his way to second, he's got a sliding double, and he claps his hands jubilantly out at second base. And his double has just given the Cubs a three to one lead. So back to back walks issued by Ashcraft. The Cubs have the bases loaded with one away, leading three to one. And now Nico Horner, who already has a two run double to his credit, with a chance for some more RBIs right now. The other way. They get it out there, back to first, and that one skips into the dugout. And two will score. So it's 5-1. Yeah, it's just a bad decision here to try to turn this double play by the, the rookie steer. No way with Horner going down. No, no way with just about anybody going down the line are you going to pull that off. Here's John Gomes. In the air, softly hit. And that one falls, and it's a base hit. And then hops out of play. It's an automatic double. Nico in to score. A little dunker auto double for Jan Gomes. 6 1. One reason why Sampson has been an effective pitcher this year two reasons. He, he keeps the walks down to a low number and he keeps the ball in the park. Yep. Oh boy, what a grab. Sampson with that one ticketed for center, able to grab it. Steer is out. Yeah, the Reds leave a man. Siani, a left handed batter. Two infielders on each side of second outfield straight away. The pitch. Bouncing ball hit to first. It's fielded by Higgins, who jogs to the bag. One away. Jose Barrero at the plate. Sampson deals. Hit in the air to right, down the line. Angling toward it is Suzuki. He's under it and makes the catch. 
two away. Austin Romine, the catcher. Romine gone. Adrian Sampson has been sharp here today. Six strikeouts. Cubs lead 6-1. Smoke to first. Great pick by Solano. Well, that is the third time in three at bats that Jan Gomes decides to go to right field. And now the number nine hitter Christopher Morell. That's the first ground ball out that Connor Overton's got. Big rip comes up empty. Connor Overton to cruise control. Ten in a row retired. So they're at the corners with one out. Now the one two. Roll toward first. Stepping on the bag and then throwing to second. It's a double play. The run does not score. They get the double play before the run scores. Good play by Higgins. And immediately the home plate umpire Brennan Miller waving his arms as if to say the run does not count. A yeah, great job today by Adrian Sampson. Seven innings, one run, three hits. On the ground, Horner to his left. One shortstop bounces out to the other, and the batter is Austin Romine. Here's a ground ball to second base, fielded by Key Rose, and he throws to first in time. That's out number two. Line drive, leaping catch by Horner at short, and the inning comes to an end. Ullman works one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Plate is in the shade. Jonathan India will hit a fly ball into shallow right center. Going out with a play is Key Rose. And he makes the catch one pitch one away and the Cubs are going to win their ninth in their last 10 games after this next out one and two swing and a miss struck him out and the Cubs make it five in a row Wick closes it out Cubs win five straight wins and the Cubs take the opener of this three game series.